Hello, good morning. Welcome to Color All the Things with Melissa. Uh, today is January the 8th. Um, it's been a long time since I've put out a video. I don't even remember now. Um, not only did I have Christmas, I was out in Ohio. I had came home and the whole family was sick. So it's been fun. Um, if you can see here, I have a tin of 24 Lyra Rembrandt Polycolor Pencils. I bought them. I was like, oh, I'm going to try these out. Started working on this page in Magical Delights by Clara M Markova. Um, let me see if I can recognize that. Um, that's her first book. Um, started playing with it and I immediately ordered the full set. Should have done it from the get-go, but you know, that's kind of how that goes. But I wanted to, um, kind of talk about these pencils a little bit, talk about how wonderful they are on this paper, this super smooth paper. Um, I've had trouble. I've not colored in this much because it is such smooth paper and I, I have a little trouble with it. Um, my voice is still not back, guys. I'm very sorry. I'm just doing a quick recording today. I'm not going to be too long. I'll probably do a live stream tomorrow. Um, I didn't want to step on anybody's toes today. Uh, it's a big day over at Ustream for DD and and all the others that record on Mondays. So I didn't want to do a live stream and take away from their audience. Um, so I'm just going to do a recording and play with the Lyra's. Um, the only problem I have with the 24 set is a beautiful set. Um, you see, this was, I had bought this separate. This is the flesh color. Um, so that's why it's up there. But beautiful set. No purple no gray. I, really, I mean, I don't, I don't even understand, like, I don't understand how you can, like, make a set and go, oh, you know what we're not going to put in there? A purple and a gray. Instead, we'll give you, like, three reds. And, you know, I, the browns are amazing, but, you know, I didn't even notice this gold ochre pencil is, like, I don't know if you can see that, but that's bowed a little bit. Hmm. I only just now noticed that. Other than that, the feel of these pencils are really, really nice. They feel good in your hand. They're extremely light. Like, it's a very light pencil. Um, but it's got a huge, huge core. Um, I don't know comparatively because I, I it's got the cap on the end. Um. I bet I could look up that information, but really the, the size of the core of the pencil isn't what's going to sway me on a pencil, honestly. So like stuff like that doesn't, doesn't really bother me whether or not they have a cap on the end, even whether or not the colors, either the barrel color or the tip color is true to color doesn't really bother me. What I look for is the names. I don't know if you can see that. My, I have a new, um, I have a new thing to record on, and it's auto focusing. So anyway, it has the names, it has the numbers. I get them open stock. This is really like my hardcore what draws me to a pencil. Um, and one of the reasons why I'm still faltering on Holbein's, um, not, not faltering on, like, am I going to get them now or not? It's whether or not I'm ever going to get them. I'm still faltering on that because I can't get them open stock. Uh, I've heard a lot of people complain that, that, Right now that the place that they were getting them open stock is no longer sending them to the U.S. So, you know, that's a big issue for me because I do, I do go through pencils. Um, 
<clears throat> excuse me, so I'm going to be drinking a lot here, I'm sorry. And so that's a big thing for me. Um, this, this is so smooth. I can't even, so this lay down has been so smooth. It's very weird. It has not true to color at all. Let me see here. Okay, Zoe got my little one here that's not quite true to color it's much brighter in person but you can see there's some um, shading down there um, I have found with these you kind of do the opposite you lay down your color and then you put your shading on top absolute opposite of any other pencil I've ever used <laughs> it's very weird um, but it comes up with some very nice melding of colors. So I've, you see I've done my little flame here. I did take and outline the lines with um, a gel pen just to kind of soften those deep black lines. So I've put a little yellow on the page where I wanted it. Little yellow highlights on the pomegranates and the, the face of this guy over here. So I've done a few things. It's been slow going, um, mostly because I can't, and this is going to be a little gross, guys, I can't lean over my drawing. <clears throat> Man, my voice is going. I can't lean over my drawing without my nose running. <laughs> so I have not been able to color too much, which is sad, super sad. I did finish my drawing, my mummy drawing out of um, the Grim Fairy Tales Volume 2. I got the box set my husband got me for Christmas and immediately started coloring in it. Um, I love those books so much. They're my cup of tea. Um, so, I finished that. Started on... Let's see, I started on the NYX Warriors. So if you're on Instagram and you see the hashtag NYX Warriors, um, coloring Maja, M-A-J-A, -A, um, she's doing a color, kind of like a color along or a buddy color or something like that, um, where everybody picks one of Nick Filbert's warrior pictures and colors it. So I picked one from Irene, 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 um, because my Serene is on its way. I should have that in a week or two. Um, bless his heart, Nick, Nick Filbert. He, uh, he held on to it for me because I wasn't in town when he was going to send it. I didn't trust my postman to not mess it up. So... He held on to that for me, which was so nice. Um, and he just sent me an email that it was on its way. Um, so that, that'll be fun. And then I'm, I'm working on this. I just picked up the 24 pack. And I was like, oh, you know, I can do so much with 24 pencils. Um... Because I have the, the 24 Ergosofts. And I've done some pretty nice stuff. I, I've got to admit. Um, in Ivy and Inky Butterfly. I was like. Oh I can. You know. I can totally do this. And I could. I could make my own purples. Really. I got to say though. The. The. Color that sold me the most. Was this one. It's night green. It is. The weirdest. It's not weird, per se. It's just, let me find a piece of paper here. It's just so different, and I love it. But it's like a dark turquoise. And it's just so pretty. And I just love it, and it's called Night Green. 
And really, this, I think this color sold me. Beyond them being super creamy. Like, you know, people talk about Prismas. And they're like, oh, you know, they're so buttery and soft and creamy. These Lyras, no joke. Soft, buttery, creamy. They are the oil version of Prismas. Um, they're a little on the pricier side. It was about 100 After taxes and whatnot, it was about 100 well, less than 100 um, for a 72, which, you know, if you compare to the Prisma colors, you get 150 for 80. Um, so, you know, it is, <coughs> pardon me, it is a little on the pricier side, but they're cheaper than Polychromos. If you don't like the hardness of Polychromos, but you like the feel of the oil pencils, and that's my thing. I like the feel of the oil pencils and the way they lay down. Um, but I like the softness of the Prismacolors. And this is a nice, this is a nice in-between. Um, like I said, the only weird thing is the way you have to layer these. Um, you can do light layers. I actually started out on the green where I was doing shading. It's very weird. It's so much darker on my page. Um, and I can't, I can't zoom in. Can I zoom in? Nope, that's as far as it goes. Yeah, that's as far as it goes. So you can see maybe right there. I actually put down like uh, the burnt ochre and then I did a Van Dyke and then I did the sepia. Then I came back with the sap green and then over everything I did the apple green. So there's quite a few colors down on there, but I didn't have any problem putting it all down. And I could honestly go in, now that I've done my second layer of apple green, because I put the apple green down first. I put a light layer of the apple green, the lightest color, down first. And just, just layered it. And then from there, I did the other colors. And I built up from the lightest to the darkest. Um, and that way the pencil strokes didn't show through. So over here I did it, I did it the opposite. Um, I, I put down all the dark first and then I went over with the apple green and all my pencil strokes showed through. But if I do it with a light layer of the, of the, um, oh Lord have mercy my brain. If I do a light light layer of the lightest color for some reason that was super tongue twister um if i do a light layer of the lightest color and then go over it with all my shading and then come back in with the light color it just seems to like melt and blend so beautifully and that was kind of trial and error i had i had done the other side here and um i had put down the the brown ochre, and I put down the sap green, and then I did the apple over it, and I was like, man, that's not dark enough. I was like, and shoot, I've already put on my lightest color. Can I go back in? Because I've never worked with these, so it was, a, it was a learning experience, right? And I went back over, and I was like, oh, my goodness. All the pencil strokes are gone, and all, you know, and it was just, it was like a, one of those, the heavens open up and the angels start singing, <laughs> you know, because pencils, right? Um, but it was, it was a really, it was a fun moment for me when I figured all that out. Um, so it was pretty cool. I'm, I'm using black. I really wanted this to be a gray silver, but I have no gray. Um, so I'm using black. And I will get... See, I'll get my other, I'll get the 72 set tomorrow. So I have at least one more day of just the 24. I was trying to supplement with my Blick Studio um, pencils because I've got a slate gray. I've only got a handful of the Blicks. 
but they're really hard. I mean, after using these these Lyras, they're really hard. Uh, so <laughs> that might be my biggest problem as I come back and be like, oh my god, my pencils are so hard. Hard, hard, hard pencils. That's okay. But really, I am, I'm so, I'm so impressed. So, uh, I really like my Marco Ren Renoirs, Renoirs. Really like those pencils. Because they're super soft. They're super buttery. And they just, they melt and they go together and it all works. And but my problem is they break. They just break constantly. All the flipping time. And it's really annoying. And I'm hoping that these will be like the answer to that. And Marco Renoirs, you can't get open stock. They're gorgeous pencils, but you can't get them open stock. So that was the downside of those. I'm going to start needing bifocals here soon. Holy moly. I can just feel it. I feel my eyes trying to focus. So if my head gets in the way, I apologize. This is just a really small space. Don't worry, I'm not going to sit here and just color black the whole time. I'm actually going to go in and do... I want to do some gold accents. Um, maybe I'll color this little, little guy right here. I do want to get some of this in. My bottom vibrated. I've got my phone in my back pocket. That always freaks me out. So, I normally stream on um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. At 9 a.m. That may have to change a little bit. Um, my youngest, she was going to school, um, but I had to take her out. Um, for one, she was developing some super bad habits. Her tantrums went from manageable to expensive. Explosive. I mean, just like a different kid. It was horrible. Even my mom noticed over Christmas. She was like, you, you've got to like get that under control. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> she was like, it wasn't this bad last Christmas. I was like, I know. It wasn't that bad over um, when we went back for their birthday in July. So like yeah I've got to do something um, and she developed a, a thing for biting stuff not like other kids thankfully but like she would chew on her shirt and she'd never do that before like she never ever had done anything like that before and then just suddenly she just starts chewing on things so obviously it came from the school and apparently she got a talking to about saying she loved another kid. And she's four. You know, she loves everybody. To to go and, like, give them a talking to about that and try to get them to say that they just like somebody is terrible. I think that's horrible. Um, so there was a lot of that going on. She was developing bad habits. And, um, the girl who I thought had been removed for biting other kids is actually still there. Um, so I didn't find that okay. Uh, she had already bitten two people, two kids, you know, in the first two or three months. And they hadn't removed her or anything, so I was not pleased with that. Um, so, 
let's see let's move on I'm gonna get the flesh tone here um so I, I I removed her that and it was super expensive and it, she wasn't getting like the the stuff I wanted her to get out of it I mean her counting improved and her writing improved a little but you know I could have done that Let's see if we go with the brown ochre now get some of these shadows back here so I, I took her out and we're gonna start doing um, school at home so my streams may be a little more sporadic than they used to be <laughs> I really don't like this autofocus I wonder if I can take it off Take off the autofocus. What am I doing? That wasn't good. Ooh, ooh, there we go. See, I just got to play around with this a little bit. There we go, that's better. So, yeah, so that'll be... I'll try to do more recordings like this because right now she's being really good. She hasn't eaten her lunch. I'm watching some Pokemon because that's apparently what all the kids do nowadays is watch Pokemon. So. And now. I had put the flesh on first. Right? I'm going with my darker colors and I just did a light layer of flesh it wasn't a, it wasn't a big one um, I really want it dark at the back of the head because it's the light is coming directly from the flame and it's gonna really really light up right here but like right behind it it's gonna be really dark so I really want it. so I'm gonna take the dark sepia really darken that up Really gives some shadows to it. I really am so impressed with these Lyras. I can't even. Oh no. One second, pumpkin. She needs a blanket. She might actually fall asleep for a nap. That'd be awesome. Two seconds. <laughs> okay. Didn't mean to shake it, my bad. Um, so the pomegranates are going to be like a purpley red, which is funny because I don't have a purple. Um, what are pomegranate leaves? Like what? I forgot the tree that pomegranates grow on. Yes, sweetheart. Yeah, let's see. Pomegranate tree images. Oh, look at that. That's that's a pretty flower. So that's like a creamy salmon type color. I don't have anything. Hmm. Those are some strong leaves. And there's there's the pomegranate. So that's cool. inside of one 
So, okay. Really like that. So it's a pretty dark bark. Oh, well, honey, I've got the pork loin in the um, crock pot. And it's going to smell weird to you because I'm using Chinese spices. Um, so, yeah, I'm making, I'm making a pork, I'm making like a Korean barbecue-ish. Uh, it's a fusion thing. Um, so, really, really green leaves, really, really dark reddish stems and like a salmon it almost looks like a one of those variegated um carnations which is really cool so i may have to wait for that so if i have those pinky pinky colors um greens i might just do blues then what am I going to do for the background? Shoot. I would do purple, but I don't have purple. I can make my own purple. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get... Let's get rose carmine. Let's get light blue. Let's just see what we can mix together here. Hmm. I may have to wait for a purple. Yeah, I may just have to wait. And that's okay. That's okay. I can actually do... Now let's do the bark up here. So like I said, it was a reddish bark. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in with my burnt ochre. Do a light layer. I also do the leaves because I really want to use that night green and I think it'll be really good for those leaves. So there's the burnt ochre. Let's try Venetian red. And some of these I haven't even sharpened yet. Go with the Venetian red, give it that red tone. Really light layers, really light layers. Hi, pumpkin. Hi. I really wanted to go and look in Chloe's house and look at it. Yeah, maybe next time. I'll let her mom know, okay? But why did why did Kelly get to go in? Because you were asleep. I wanted to. Next time I'll wake you up, okay? See, I'm going to go in with Van Dyke Brown now. Start doing my shadows. So, light. I don't even know what I'm going to do for the background, honestly. Tell me something. What do you have to tell me? 
Play no. no. You can play with it in just a little bit, okay? I think I'm coming to the end of how long I can stream or how long I can record. She's getting antsy. Antsy's in her pantsies. Are you getting antsy pants? <laughs> That did not please her. So it's very difficult. There's too many black lines. <laughs> I know it gives great texture, but I'm having a hard time seeing where my darker shadows are. That's okay. Going with the sepia. I really, really think these are some good pencils. I think they're they're good buy if you like softer pencils. Um, they do super light layers easy you can go in with some pretty hard um, pretty dark spots without too much pressure I mean, you're going to have to put something down right nothing's going to be that easy but it's not going to be so hard that you're, like, killing your hand to do it. Go back in with that Van Dyke and just pull it down a little bit more. I missed a little shadow spot. It's right here. I like the tin that they come in too. It's very nice, very sleek. Um, pretty easy to, to just keep right here. Uh, that's for the 24. I don't know about the 72. I don't think I have a case to put them in. Usually I'm really good about that. Go back in with the Venetian red. I think the Pompeian red will be a little too much. So I'm just going to kind of go over everything. Make sure everything's got a little hint of red. I'm still able to do light layers. I haven't hit my threshold yet. Um, I think down at the grass, it was able to still take layers, and I've done probably five or six. Um, so and it was still going. And this is on smooth paper, mind you. Brown ochre. Smooth paper is, is pretty notorious for not being able to take a whole lot of layers. So, I don't think I made this nearly dark enough, but that's okay. Just medium pressure. Feel a sneeze coming on. Oh no. Excuse me. And what can you do? I'm still, oh, excuse me. I'm better than I was. At least I can breathe now. Now I'm going to have to blow my nose.
so sorry about that. <sighs> the joys of being sick. I've taken coldies, which really helped out. So we got home on a Saturday. Um, my husband had already been sick for a day or two. My youngest was sick on the way up to Ohio. Oldest guy was sick for a day or two. I had just started getting sick. So it was a fun drive. Yes, pumpkin. Um, now can they bring us this needle? Because they need a plate. Sometimes it's just easier to do it now. Otherwise, she's going to ask you every five minutes for an hour. Okay. Let's see. Let's do some leaves here. I'm going to go in with that night, night green. So, yeah, we were all sick driving home. My mom was sick. Uh, for a couple days before we left, she called me the other day. She was like, I feel like I was cheated. I was sick. I didn't get to spend as much time as I wanted. Like, I know. Keep going with the sap green here. Like, I know. But it is what it is. You know what I didn't do? I didn't put down the lightest color first. Let's see how this works out. It might work out just fine. Maybe I was just a fluke over here because it was in the, uh, down at the grass because it was in the corner there. Let's see. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I could, I could be proving myself wrong right now. Wouldn't that be something? Kind of want a little yellow on there. Let's see. I'm going to go in with the moss green. I want to grab my, what is it, lemon. That's what I've been using as the lemon here. So I'm just going to, just a little bit. Not too much. It's really going to get covered up. So again, start back the base. Just mix it all together. I think that night green provides a wonderful base for a good dark, good dark color. So, we, yeah, we get home Saturday, Sunday, we're all laid up. We, we somehow managed to make it out to the store to get medicine and food for the kids because our cupboards were empty because I had used everything up before before we went to Ohio. Oh, I like these leaves. I think that looks really good. I like it. Um, and then Monday, I started feeling like really good. It's like, you know, Cool, I'm coming out of it. The coldies is working. The medicine's working. I cleaned. I cooked. I made soup. You know, I made chicken soup. Because <laughs> nothing's better, right? You know, and I'm like, my husband's still laid up. I've got him up. I've got one kid laid up. i got another that I'm entertaining because she's not sick. And then I'm just going to keep going with the same, the same night green. And use it as my shadow, too. So, yeah, I'm feeling like Wonder Woman, right? Just knocking stuff out left and right. 
putting stuff away, doing laundry, you name it. I was just powering. I was on top of the world. <laughs> and then Monday night, it's like 2, 3 a.m., my youngest just screams, Mommy! I flip out like, oh my gosh. I'm going to get sepia here. I'll just kind of give it a more kick of a shadow here. There's a little bit of shading provided by the dots. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. So, just gonna kind of yeah. <clears throat> just had to do that. And I pop out of bed. I'm sweating bullets because I have too many blankets because my husband's sick, and so I pop out of bed. And thinking, oh my god, she's, you know, having an accident, she's having a nightmare, she hurt herself, she pulled a muscle, something, because she was screaming. I get in her room, and she's like, I want a glass of water. I'm like, oh my god. It's like, no. I'll get you a glass of water, but you can't yell like that. Like, that's not okay. So I go and get her a glass of water, and I'm feeling kind of fuzzy. You know that fuzzy around the edges feeling you get sometimes? It's feeling kind of fuzzy. It's like, okay, well that, what was that? These, these haven't been dusty, so I don't know, like if just a little piece broke off, or just fuzz off my cardigan? Hmm, oh well. I'm like, ugh. So I go and get her a glass of water and come back. I give it to her. She drinks it. I put it back in the bathroom. I tuck her back in. I turn her little nightlight back on. I get her songs going, the whole shebang. And then I just, like, my vision closes in on itself. And I'm like, I've got to sit down. So I sit down on her bed. I sit down, and legit, next thing I know, I hear her screaming for, Daddy, Mommy fell off the bed, and I was laying on the floor. I must have passed out. And it was horrible. Just, just with yeah, you. there you go. Excellent, Zoe. Way to use the materials around you. I, so I... Just ripped it up. Yeah, let's not drop pieces all over the place though, okay? Let's keep it all keep it all in one spot. Um, so yeah, I'd passed out. And I think what had happened was I was so hot. The air in the bedroom was so cold. The you know, the air outside was so cold outside of the covers was so cold that I had just shocked my system so I had a bump on my head and bruise on the inside of my upper arm and a scared little four-year-old who didn't know what happened <laughs> so that was fun Again, I was just doing the night green, the sepia, and now I'm going back in with the sap green. So, I have been proven a liar about how you have to blend with these. I don't want that out of, no, it has to stay at the table, honey. So, apparently, that was a fluke thing, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. Well, now I know I can blend it either way. So, yay, right? Learn. Learn something new all the time. I am in love with these pencils, though. I can't. I'm having a hard time trying to get to that. That's an awkward angle for my right hand to really do. 
don't know what color I'm going to do the background. I may actually do a night green. <laughs> Between night green and maybe some Prussian blue. I think that'd be pretty. But I don't know. Like, how would I do the glow? You know? <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know how I'd do the glow. So, we'll see. We'll see. I might wait until I get the full set. Then the mall screen. I've also been so we you know sickies and I got some tea yesterday that really seemed to help. I don't like tea. I don't like hot drinks. <sighs> to me, a drink should not be hot. I don't drink coffee. I don't really drink tea. I only got some herbal tea because I just couldn't seem to kick. Kick what I had. So I got some herbal tea from Whole Foods. Because I'm making pho tonight. Or pho. If you really want to be like that way about it. But I'm American and I say things wrong and so it, it's called pho. Um, so I've got the pork loin in. It's, you know, it's going to get all nice and crusty with soy and um, see so yeah, I put in soy sauce, fish sauce, um, put in some rice vinegar, I put in some brown sugar, some sriracha sauce, um, what else did I put in there? Let me get the sepia again, I really want, I really want this to like stand out that it's shadowed, um, Chinese five spice, Garlic, crystallized ginger. I think that's it. I like that. I think that turned out really nice. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I can do a gold. Let's see. Van Dyke, gold ochre, and maybe the lemon. I'm just going to do like a three, three tone gold here. Let me sharpen a little bit. I'm just using my Tagal on a three. They go through like butter. That one's already sharpened. See, they go through like butter. Um, let's see. Why is this cracked right here? Well, shoot, maybe that shouldn't be gold then. I'm going to do the little gold baubles right here. I'm going to get a white too. The, the white isn't very opaque. It's not very... Like it's nothing to, to write home about. But it does, it does help blend. If that's your end goal. Let's do some blending. It's very good at that. So... I just take and I blend it with the white. Get that Van Dyke. Could make them gold. That would be neat, don't you think? The gold butterflies? Hmm. That's an interesting thought. Hmm. Now I'm intrigued. I think I'm going to do it. Um. What was I saying? I don't even remember. Yeah, uh, there's like little break-offs. It's not like... 
I like Prismacolor where you get like shavings or dust or whatever, but there's some noticeable break offs. And it's not enough to really like, it's not like the whole thing's breaking. I, I can't even tell where it came from actually on the pencil lead, so it's not too bad. Super impressed with these though. Super impressed. I gotta say. Anything that can let me color on this paper. So, Claire Marco Markova's The Magical Delights, The Tenderful Enchantment, and then the Maria Trolls, the Twilight Garden and the other one, and maybe Sagarok Sagner. Um, all those have like this really, all the Swedish ones, All they all have like this really smooth paper. Um, I'm sorry about my nails. It, I find it really difficult to color on. These pencils are making it so nice. It's so nice. Uh, I am. I'm just going to make the whole thing gold. And then I may actually come in with like some black accents with a, with a, uh, not a felt tip, but what are these? The master, the fine liners. May come in with a black fine liner and do some special things. Some extra dots or something. I'm gonna do the whole thing as gold. I think that'll be pretty. So I've been watching a lot of uh I've actually been playing a lot of Guild Wars too. I've not been color when I'm not coloring. Um, so I've been doing that, but I finally was able to yesterday really color. So that was nice. I was watching Ann Sigurd's The Colorful Life, and I was watching Erin with uh, Simple Art for Adults and. Everybody is apologizing for being a, a paper snob and um, and not liking Create Space paper. And I'm not going to apologize. I am. I'm a paper snob. I have very specific paper tastes. That's okay. I try to work within those limits that I've put upon myself. Um, I did find, so if you haven't seen the, the White Stag, um, Misfits book, um, it, on Amazon, it's on Create Space Paper, but on, um, Etsy, I got in contact with the owner and, uh, I asked them what, what the paper was, because there was an actual book there instead of just like PDF downloads. She said it's 60 pound paper or 65 pound paper or 60 pound paper, which isn't like, you know, all that heavy. Um, but it is a definite step up from copy paper or create space paper. So, I mean, that's an option too. I do, I'll even do. PDFs, if I can get PDFs of stuff. I've been looking on Etsy. I'm, so my, my oldest, she counted all my books and she goes, mommy, you have 112 books. It's like, oh, huh. <laughs> you know, huh, huh. Okay. Some of them I haven't even colored in, which is shame on me. Um, and there I was, like, 
seriously as she was telling me this. I was on Etsy looking for more books. Uh, so that stopped me. Though I may still order the uh, White Stag um, Misfits book. Because I've seen my friend May do some really cool stuff with that book. Maybe I'll use White Gel Pen instead. I don't know. I really like the gold. Here, let me get the sepia. Just notch in a little darker. Right there against the wing. too much, just a little bit. You need to have some overlap, right? Watch a little against the body. There. I like it. Really, that, that's all that matters is whether I like it. I hope you guys like it too. Yeah, so I'm a paper snob. I've seen a lot of infighting in some of the groups, Facebook groups I'm in. There was a massive troll on the Inky and Ivy Butterfly page. It was just like, this poor lady, she had a misprinted book. And she was like, you know, what do I do? And this one troll, she's like, well, don't go to, don't go to Joanna. She doesn't care. Just like, holy cow. Who, who are these people? Like, for real, who are these people that just think they can go in and be crappy people? Like, I don't understand that. I don't understand that mindset that, that people, oh, that I'm anonymous on the internet. I don't understand it. And I grew up at the dawn of the internet. Like I used to be in AOL chat rooms and I was in chat rooms before there was an AOL. Um, so like it's always been around, but for some reason it just seems so much worse. Oh, I think I hear the mailman. I've got stuff coming today. I've got a new um, iPhone case. It, it, the iPhone case is so cute. It, it's a watercolor palette. I'm so, I'm so pleased with myself that I found that. It's, I'm bad, I know. Yeah, I don't understand why people think they can just walk, not walk, but just come into a space and cause issues. I just don't understand. Um, and by now the mods might have taken care of it. And like banned them. And deleted the negative comments or whatever. There were a lot of people that were like. What are you even talking about? You know. And they were just like well Joanna's got her money. So she doesn't give a crap. And then crap was not the word they used. Um, so I don't give a crap about you and your problem. I'm just like, holy cow. Like, how, how much, how much must your life suck to feel that that's okay? I don't know. I'm, I'm with some other people though. We need more positivity in the coloring community. You guys rock. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says about you. You rock. You guys do rock. Everyone who watches a video, everyone who comments, everyone who likes, shares, subscribes, doesn't subscribe, doesn't like, lurks. I don't care. Everyone who takes the time out of their day You guys rock. I'm just saying. I think everybody needs more positivity in their life. 
That's my goal. More positivity. You know what? I enjoy seeing, I enjoy seeing everybody's colorings. I may not have a chance to, you know, comment or even like sometimes so I'm in a hurry and it's just in passing. I go to find it again. I'm like, I have no idea where this picture is now. I love everybody's work. I love the effort put into it. Whether it was just a little bit or a whole heap stinking heap full. I love it. I love that people are doing this and that they're finding peace and happiness and harmony. And I'm going to be a sap. I used to think all that was sappy, you know, like all those people going, oh, peace, love, and peace, love, and chicken grease, or love, peace, and chicken grease, that's what we used to say back in the day, love, peace, and chicken grease, I used to think they were ridiculous, like, who can be that happy, I was a very unhappy kid. Not for any particular reason. I was just wasn't I wasn't a happy kid. So I never understood that. Now I do. I I get it more. That's okay. We evolve. Get some sepia in there. Darken that up. I think I have a new favorite color for butterflies. Look at the gold. That's so pretty. It's monochrome, but it's got enough depth to it that I think it looks really good. In my opinion. Feel free to feel free to do that. I think I'm gonna wrap things up here. I mean, my voice is starting to go. I really need a drink of water. Um let me zoom out here. I'll zoom down. Yep, I'll zoom down. So, thank you. Um, if you could please like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps get my videos out there. Um, if you buy some Lyra's, let me know. Let me see what you've done. Um, I'm in quite a few uh, Facebook groups where you can link me or in the comments, or just anything. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.